These are the bits you'll need to replace the potentiometer in your foot control. You'll need the wire strippers to strip the wires, pliers to undo the nut or a 14 mil spanner, but the pliers are much easier to use in there. Some solder to solder the joints together, some tape to tape the joints, a soldering iron and a Phillips head screwdriver to pull the foot pedal apart. First of all, all the screws out. We're going to replace the potentiometer, which is your variable speed on your water snake. The hardest part is getting this clip off. There it goes. We've now got the clip off. Slide your throttle control out. Get yourself a pair of pliers. Slide your joiner out. There's a flat in one side of that. There's a flat in one side of your wheel. And there's a flat on one side of your potentiometer. When you put it back together, just line up all your flats. Loosen the, the nut that holds the potentiometer on. Just loosen it and it'll come pretty easily. Slide your potentiometer out. Now the one that you will receive will have an extra long black wire which means nothing. So there's the spare potentiometer you'll receive. You just need to trim the wires back a little bit which we'll do. Cut the three wires on your old potentiometer. Get your strippers and just strip those. Right, we're now going to solder them back together. There's not enough room for crimps in these, so if you're using heat shrink and just not going to tape them, now's the time to put your heat shrink on. So it's only colour for colour again. Just lay them together, twist them. Take your soldering iron. Slide your heat shrink over. Now, in the bottom, there's a locating lug for this lug. So if you put that back in there, it's going to be exactly where you need it to be. Right, so just take your parts off your old one. Put that on there. Slide him down so he's locked in place. Put the nut back on. Tighten him up with your pair of pliers. There's the flat on your potentiometer. There, slide your flat on there. And the flat on this will go into this end. Put your clip back on. We can reassemble it now. Just make sure your wires go all through there. Put your springs on, be returns. These are left. That's your intermittent switch at the back with the three dots on it. And there's your right. Just sit your cover over the top of them. It'll all sit on, there's no tricks. Turn it over. Tighten all your screws back up, work from the center out. And there you have it, left, right, intermittent switch.